Welcome to Us Crazy Christians, where we deal in common sense Christianity. I'm your host, William E. Smith, and today we're going to take a sneak peek into the life of God to see exactly what did he do today. Stick around. We were able to retrieve some leaked footage of God talking to one of his angels this morning, planning his day. Let's take a look. Sweet Jesus. No. God. Here's your cup. Ah, Alana, my favorite angel. What's on the agenda for today? Let me see. There is a seven car accident happening in about an hour. Several people will die if you don't intervene. Ah, uh, yes. My boy Tyrone is in that. I have to help him. All right. But God, five people will die in that accident. Two people will be paralyzed. And one will lose an eye. Can't you save them all? If I save them all, who will give the testimony of how good I was to them? I have already foreseen my favorite Tyrone in church on Sunday, giving a fabulous testimony of how he was the only one rescued from that horrible car accident. People will praise me. It will be glorious. But God, the Bible says you're not a respecter of persons. You can't say one and not the rest. <laughs> the hell I can't. My children don't believe in that scripture. They're always bragging about how I've saved them from something horrible and ignore all the other people who weren't saved. But they still praise me and brag about my greatness. Oh, that reminds me. Pencil this in. I need to go to my servant Mike's job today. I'm going to make him late. Push him to go off on his boss. Tempt him to steal office supplies and sexually harass his co-worker so he gets fired today. Why would you do that, God? Because I have a better job for him. It's all in God's plan. Can you imagine his testimony in front of his church about how God rescued him from that horrible job and blessed him with a better one? His testimony will, will be glorious. glorious. What's next on the agenda? There's a young boy that is going to get molested by his uncle today. If you don't intervene, this will continue for many years and cause him to repeat the same abuse to other children when he grows up. Nah, let's leave that alone. There is 26-year-old Sharon, a faithful servant of mine, that is saving herself from marriage. If I don't intervene, she will lose her virginity today. So I'm going to give her boyfriend a cramp in his side so he won't be able to get any of her precious good good. That ought to slow him down. Can you imagine her testimony about how I saved her virginity? It will be glorious! But God, why don't you stop that and not help the scared little boy? That is why you're a lonely angel and I'm God. God. You can't understand my great wisdom. My ways are above your ways and my thoughts are above your thoughts. That little boy will suffer for my glory. One day he will testify about all the horrible things he went through and how I helped him heal. So he can now minister to other victims, and his testimony will, will be glorious. If you say so. Boy, that's a sprinkle of Jesus right there. No. Go. What's next on the agenda? There's your faithful servant, Monica, that is praying for your help. Because she's having complications during her pregnancy. Uh, yeah. I'm taking that baby. But she loves you. She has been faithful to you since she was a kid. True, but she slept with a married man and got pregnant by him. But God, he has been separated for years and has filed for divorce. But he's still married now. You know I hate divorce. Plus, even if he was single, they still aren't married. So I'm going to need to take that baby. Can you imagine how our story will stop so many others from repeating her mistake? She will even write a book about this. Her testimony about me, it will be glorious. What's next on the agenda? Jeff Smith, good husband and good father of three, has cancer. And is only 35 years old. He is a wonderful pastor and a leader in a community. His church in the city of Detroit is praying for his recovery. Oh, yeah. I love him. I'm taking him. 
But my lord, his family will be devastated if he dies. He didn't have any life insurance because he believed you were coming back to rapture him and his family any day now. So his family will be destitute. His wife and children will lose faith in you. Those in the community who have faith in you to answer their prayers. To save him will lose faith in you. But I love those wonderful poems he writes. I want him in heaven to entertain me right now. I can't wait until the rapture. And who knows when I'll ever do that. They've had him for 35 years on earth. Now it's my turn. Besides, after many years of suffering and doubt, they will realize that I know what's best. Their testimonies of my wisdom and my majesty will be glorious. Will be glorious. Will be glorious. Sweet Jesus. No. God. That was absolutely not God, nor one of his angels. Somebody getting fired. Who gave me that footage? If we knew a person or had a neighbor or something that acted anything like that, we would condemn that person to a mental hospital or prison for life. But the sad truth is that a lot of us crazy Christians actually believe God is just like that. You could fear him, but could you really love him? Is it possible that just because people claim God did something, doesn't mean he actually did it? Is it possible that a young lady could have a miscarriage simply because of health issues and God have nothing to do with that? Is it possible that God gave man dominion on the earth and that he has truly allowed us to be in control on the earth? Tell me what you think in the comments. We believe in a love, kind, compassionate God like Jesus spoke of. And here at Us Crazy Christians, we want to introduce that God to you. If you want to see more content from Us Crazy Christians, please like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to be notified every time we post a new video, hit the notifications bell. Thanks for spending time with us. Be blessed.